move online, we've learned a huge amount and the engagement with students has been very positive and students have told us they really like the virtual meetings, the virtual appointments. Um, for some of our students who are trying to maybe balance part-time work, family commitments, childcare commitments, we're definitely going to continue with the blended model of, of service delivery. I am really struck by the extent to which individual members of staff will go the extra mile, will go out of their way, will commit to engaging with each individual student as much as they can to help them. I had a particular lecture and they were really good in terms of um, the supports they provided. They, again, they ensured that their recording was always a really good quality. But also even I found we had a two hour um, lecture slot and it was quite different, like the, the, the first hour was a lecture and the second hour was dedicated solely to a discussion and I found that again really beneficial particularly over Covid because of the fact that um, we hadn't really been speaking to many of our classmates so it was kind of, it was educational but also I suppose there was that element of just kind of social interaction that we've kind of been really missing. I think we overrate this notion of having to engage all of the time. I think we need to be careful of what we measure as engagement. You know, the loudest voice who's always engaging isn't necessarily the best student. So I think we all need to take a step back and actually reevaluate. Let's look at what does engagement mean? Learning in the last year and a half has been very different for me, like most students in UCC. There was some like drastic changes. We didn't have as much group learning as we used to. The breakout rooms on Teams didn't really work too well. Um, often if we were left unsupervised, people turned off their cameras and didn't speak. What I've tried to do this year is to implement a kind of a flipped classroom. They're watching videos primarily for their asynchronous content or reading some of the, the key materials for the module and then we discuss them in the live lesson so the live lesson is a bit more engaged and interactive then. I think the flipped classroom for me has been a game changer where students have come to the lesson with the knowledge. I think that changes the power dynamic as well between student and teachers so they're more empowered I think to contribute in lessons. <laughs>